Let's head back to the Mo Betters broadcast booth and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU football brought to you in part by America First Credit Union. Tonight's game, sponsored by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details and go Cougars! BYU trailing San Diego State 14-7 after one quarter. The Cougars outgained in the first quarter as well. 134 in yardage for the Aztecs to 103 for BYU. If you're to extrapolate that out, BYU would end up with fewer than 450 yards in total offense. And San Diego State has kept 21 consecutive opponents under 450 in yardage. The Aztecs tonight looking for their first ever back-to-back wins over BYU. It was San Diego State 13 and BYU 3 last year down in San Diego. The Aztecs this year playing their home games in Carson, California with a new venue still in the works down in San Diego. Greg Grubel, Riley Nelson, Mitchell Jurgens, your broadcast trio with you tonight here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. After tonight, nothing else is on the BYU schedule. We will wait to see uh, what transpires next Saturday or beyond with postseason play the most likely possibility. I mean, there's been talk of BYU trying to find one more regular season game, but Riley, I guess at this point, if, if you're going to be playing a postseason game anyway, you could you could simply rest up, get ready for that game, and, and call it good at 12 games, and 12 games would be a heck of a season this year. Most definitely, Greg. I think 12 games would be considered an absolute accomplishment given that everybody else across the country is struggling to put together three, four, and five games. So, uh, of course, we any chance we get to play football, the, this team, or for us as fans to watch BYU football, we're excited for. But if a game doesn't come off 19th, I think this regular season was an unmitigated success for BYU Athletic Director Tom Homo, Coach Kalani Sitake, and the program overall. As we come back in, third down and one, less than one, for San Diego State at the Aztecs' own 42-yard line with the Aztecs leading 14-7. Jesse Matthews motions, and they give instead to Bell. Bell cut down but keeps the legs moving. He was docked off balance but put a, put a hand down and ended up getting the four yards, needing just the one to move the sticks. Nicely done by Greg Bell. Kavika Fonua and Peyton Wilgar are the ones that hit and dropped Bell. But the sticks are moved. San Diego State, three of four now on third downs. And near BYU territory, 46-yard line of SDSU. They go empty for Brookshire in the gun. Trips to the right, twins left, the short side. Thigh-high snap, look right, throw middle. Jesse Matthews makes the catch for four to midfield. So the ball right at the 50, second down and six for San Diego State. Kind of an ungainly throwing motion for Brookshire. He's not a true... Uh, gunslinger back there, is he, Riley? No, but he makes smart decisions. He's athletic enough, and I think he's a really good leader. This team seems to rally around him as he you know, puts his body on the line and uh, is able to just not hurt the San Diego State offense while their defense does their thing and uh, the run game does its thing. Double tight shift from right to left. The handoff middle Williams now busted outside. Kagan Williams with a spin and he pulls a tackler forward for the first down yardage needed. On second down and six, it's a run of ten for Kagan Williams. Zane Anderson the tackle for BYU and the Aztecs down to the 41 yard line of the Cougars. San Diego State 14, BYU 7. We're one minute and 20 seconds in to quarter number two early Earlier today here on the radio. The Cougars defeat the running Utes in basketball, 82-64. to A nice bounce back win for Coach Pope and the boys. BYU now 6-2 and two on the hardwoods. They'll play at San Diego State on Friday next. Double tight left, wides to either side. Brookshire gun, the give to Williams running left. No, a pull away from Brookshire, and on the quarterback keep, a gain of maybe a yard. Actually, no gain on the play. They'll keep it right at the BYU 41. So... The zone read was read and kept by Brookshire for no gain. Summers and Daw combined on the stop for BYU. Second down 10 for San Diego State. Two minutes gone here in quarter number two. Aztecs up a touchdown. BYU has to be really, as we mentioned before, when they ran on the third and nine, or sorry, on the, on, on the third and eight, San Diego State is going to likely, most people would try and pass and get half back here. It's likely going to be an up-the-gut run. they got to be really stout here. Two tight ends to the right. Fly motion is to the right, but the handoff goes stretched right instead. It'll be on second down and ten, run of five by Greg Bell, setting up third down and five. Running between the numbers and the hash marks to the right. Stopped at the 36. So third down and five for San Diego State. And the Aztecs on third downs tonight are three of four 
converting on third and five, third and eight, and third and one. And on the third down and five, it was a 25-yard touchdown run for Kagan Williams. So from the BYU 36, maybe too long for field goal. Maybe it's four down territory. Third down and five with Bell to the right hip of Brookshire. The shotgun snap is called for. Kept by Brookshire. And Brookshire got the first down himself running between the tackles and between the hashes for seven yards. So a third and five run of seven. And this BYU run defense, Riley, that was so stout before last Saturday has been uh, given up chunks to Coastal and now San Diego State. Yeah, and they're, I mean, it, they're doing it two different ways. San Diego State, Coastal was a lot of kind of option and fakes and, and things like that. San Diego State is just straight up lining and running downhill power at you. Regardless of what it is, BYU's got to find a way to figure it out because this makes it really tough to win a game. And BYU jumps. So Caden Haas got into the neutral zone. And there could have been some contact blowing the plate at. I didn't see a, uh, a false start. Offside, number 73, defense with contact. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Hence, it was a dead play, not a free play. So Caden jumped, made contact in the neutral zone, setting up a first down and five for San Diego State at the BYU 24-yard line. So ball between the hash marks, and they'll go pistol now with Greg Bell behind Jordan Brookshire. Double tights to the right, two wide receivers left. And now move a tight end from right to left, creating strength and trips left. A little zone read miscommunication, and a pickoff for BYU. An interception on the ball thrown across the middle, and to the 31-yard line of BYU, Drew Jensen on the INT. Drew Jensen right in the passing lane. Brookshire thought he had... A big play, and Drew Jensen had other ideas. So Jensen with the INT, and BYU takes it over on D with a flag on the play. He most definitely did have a big play there. Good thing Drew Jensen was a backer coming from the other, actually the other other side, as the ref gives us the call on the flag. Doing the return, Should be a face mask. Personal file, face mask, number 34. 15-yard penalty to the end of the run, first down. Tremendous job by him jumping up, full extension, catching, being athletic enough to catch the ball and secure it in the air and get a little bit of a return. The play was set up there for San Diego State to catch it. There was a safety that could have tackled him, but they would have been set up down around the 10-yard line. Timely play. Also, the other thing that that did was it got the offense who was freezing. San Diego State is doubling them up on time of possession. The offense sitting on the bench with the quarter break and a long possession there from San Diego State. BYU offense is back on the field uh, to not get too cold. And with extra 15 yards tacked onto the end of the run on the face mask. So from the uh, 46-yard line of BYU, Wilson hands off Katoa and Lopini Katoa for a couple of yards. Again, Tyler Algier, BYU's would-be 1,000-yard back, is not available tonight. And uh, Kalani didn't, didn't expect him to be available tonight. Lopini Katoa is the number one back. Sione Finau is the number two. Miles Davis the number three. And starting safety tonight, Kavika Fonua is the four. So a gain of two for Katoa, setting up second and eight from the BYU 48. They go empty for Wilson in the gun. The ball directly between the hashes on the royal blue Y at midfield. Zach throws complete to Dax Mill. Milne stopped one yard shy of the line to gain. So on second and eight, gain of seven. Tackled at the hash mark, and it'll be third down and one. Taylor Hawkins on the tackle for San Diego State. 10-21 to play in the second quarter. San Diego State 14 and BYU 7. The Aztecs were driving and in scoring territory when Drew Jensen recorded the INT for BYU. Face mask at the end of the run. The Cougars had a a short field. Now that field is at the 45-yard line of San Diego State. Third down and one. The scoreboard says first and ten. It's third and one. And it's a toss right to Katoa, and Katoa dives ahead. Did he get to the line to gain? No, it looked like he'd have lost for yards. Instead, he dives at the end and still ends up one yard shy. So fourth down and one at the 45. But he was looking at two defenders with a loss of five or six when he escaped them and then flung his body forward, but for no gain. It'll be fourth down and one from the San Diego State 45, and the offense stays on the field in a game. BYU trails 14-7. to Hopefully they don't get too cute here. Either fullback dive or quarterback sneak. 
you need less than a yard, let your big boys up front go get it for you. Wilson's under center with Katoa, the lone setback. They motion Pau'u behind the back to create eyebacks, and the give is to the lead. Katoa, Katoa gets second level. Lopini 20, 15, 10, 5, and down to the one-yard line. Lopini Katoa, the 44-yard run on fourth and one. Taylor Hawkins, the touchdown-saving tackle. It'll be first and goal for BYU at the one. Fullback trap. That's uh, old-school grinded help football. I absolutely love it. A little X block between the center and the guard executed perfectly. I also like the pre-snap window dressing, motioning Pau'u back as to the tailback position in the backfield. Got San Diego State up out of their stances, doing a lot of pointing and directing, and they hit him quick right up the gut. Spot the ball at the two. First and goal from the two. Wilson under center. Wake and Katoa in the eye. Snap Zach. Play fake. Sprint right on the boot. The throw to the end zone is good for a touchdown to Isaac Rex. Rex makes the catch on first and goal from the two, and BYU draws to within one with the PAT pending. Rex with his ninth career touchdown, his ninth touchdown reception of this season. Good job by him to sail the down block. He was the tight end on the right side. A good play action, good patience by Zach on the ball fake and not to come out of the ball fake too quickly. It really sold the backside of that defense. Rex did the same thing with his blocker and then shucked him down, went out to the flat, was wide open. Low snap is brought off the turf by Rico. Oldroyd kicks it through. And BYU ties the game at 14, 8.34 to play until halftime. So Zach Wilson to Isaac Rex. Zach's second touchdown pass of the night. And BYU ties the game at 14. 8.34 to go till the break. We're taking a break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Football on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let us pause 10 seconds for station identification on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Radio on KBYU FM HD2 Provo. You're listening to BYU Football on BYU Radio. The Pigskin Scoring Summary is brought to you by your Utah Pork Producers. With every Cougar point scored this season, your Utah Pork Producers and Smithfield Foods will donate 300 servings of delicious protein to the local Utah Food Bank. Visit utahporkproducers.org. BYU. With the INT from Drew Jensen. Follows that with a 54-yard drive. Five plays and 231 off the clock. The final play is a two-yard touchdown pass. Zach Wilson to Isaac Rex. It was Rex who fumbled earlier, after which San Diego State scored a touchdown. So both teams with seven points off of turnovers here tonight. The big play in the drive we just described was a 44-yard run on a 43-yard run on fourth and one. That was a smart decision. Brought to you by UCCU. Here is a smart decision tell you after we kick off with uh, Jake Oldroyd. Oldroyd to approach. But here is that smart decision. The UCCU 4321 Cashback Rewards card, which gives you more cash back on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. Oldroyd approaches. And the ball end over end into the end zone for a touchback. The fourth and one play. Riley, your thoughts on it? It was Lopini Katoa down to the two. Yeah, it was great. They, they didn't get timeout on the field and it looks like they're sending us to media timeout is that right greg uh it appears that way so we'll hold your comments on the fourth and one till after this short break 8 34 to play still in the second quarter byu and san diego state tied at 14 on the new skin byu sports network you're listening to byu football on the new skin byu sports network here's jason shepherd with a scoreboard update It's the highlight that most likely everybody will be talking about. LSU takes down number six, Florida, with a 57-yard field goal inside of a minute. Oh, and by the way, there was a very, very thick fog during the game. 37-34, LSU upsetting number six, Florida, back to Lavelle Edwards Stadium and Greg Rubel. Shep, thank you. BYU 14, San Diego State 14. Cougars tying the game on a 54-yard drive moments ago. The big play in the drive was, as noted, coming on a fourth down and one. And Lopini Katoa took it 40-plus yards down to the two. And from there, it was Zach Wilson to Isaac Rex for his ninth touchdown catch of the year. A big number in and of itself. Riley, again, the play on fourth and one. They motioned Neil Pau to create essentially uh, eyebacks 
with, uh, with, with a, a tailback and a wide receiver behind Wilson under center. Yeah, well, when I saw Lopini Katoa in a three-point stance, I had to do a double take because that's where Mason Wake should have been. Yeah. Or you put, you know, a Tyler Algiers, someone with a little bit more. A big more. guy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but uh, the the play design was great. They did the trap block, which opened up a, a good hole for a quick guy like Lopini to just, I think the plan was just have him squeeze through there and get the single yard. But the offensive line executed it so well that he was able to sprint and take off for a 40-plus yard gain. I'm sure he would have loved to. The DB was very fast and had an angle on him and brought him down just short of the goal line. I'm sure he would have loved to capitalize on it. But getting the fourth and one was uh, was play enough. The rest the other 30-plus yards were just gravy. Jordan Brookshire hands off to Jordan Bird. So Jordan to Jordan for four to the 29-yard line. That was a first and 10 play from the 25 after the BYU kickoff. Peyton Wilgar, the tackle. Lopini Katoa, by the way, 43 of his 49 rushing yards on the night coming on that one run. So Lopini, five for 49. The only other ball carrier, Zach Wilson, one keeper for five. Brookshire, gun with Bird vacating to empty. Trips to the right, twins left, short side for Brookshire. They motion Jesse Matthews, fake a little fly sweep shovel and throw screen right complete to Ethan Dado and Dado on second and six got six and a half moved the sticks for San Diego State good pop by Zane that was a tunnel screen to the wide receiver and that's how I mean that really is the majority of the San Diego State passing game between play action rollouts and wide receiver screens that's probably 80 plus percent of what they do Zane did a good job popping the wide receivers just too far down the field double tight Shift to the left, setting up as a tight and a wing. Again, they run fly sweep motion, nothing there. Hand off to Bird, starting left, and he will lose yards. Jordan Bird is stacked up by Wilgar for a loss of two. Give him a loss of one, back to the 34. Second down, 11, as the Aztecs go off schedule on a first down run to Bird. San Diego State outgaining BYU 163, make it 162 now, 162 to 142. In total yardage, Zach Wilson tonight, 9 for 14, 88 yards, two touchdowns, a passer rating of 164.2. Jordan Brookshire awaits the shotgun snap. He's got Greg Bell to his left. Twins left and right. Knee-high snap to Brookshire. Shuffles to his left and throws behind the intended receiver, Jesse Matthews, incomplete. It'll be third down and 11 from the San Diego State 34. So the first series in which they've had real trouble is this one. And now third and 11 facing the Aztecs. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised to see. I mean, I, I'd be looking screen first. I'd be looking draw second. I, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them just straight hand the ball off. They do not have a ton of confidence in Brookshire, nor does his play instill a lot of confidence in his ability to throw the ball past the sticks on a third and 11. Brookshire, 5 for 8, 49 yards, touchdown and a pick. He's in the gun with Bell to his left. Trips to the right, single wide left. Looking right is Brookshire, throwing complete. And for a first down to Matthews. Jesse Matthews needing 11, got 12. A third down and 11 conversion for San Diego State as Brookshire rears back and guns it to the right. Making the catch at the sticks is Matthews and then fell ahead for the additional yard. San Diego State first down near BYU territory. It is 46-yard line of SDSU. First down and 10 with 6.40 to go until halftime in a tie ball game. Twins left and right for Brookshire. They'll actually be semi-empty as the back bell now slides back to join Brookshire on his right hip. So twins left and right. Make it trips left and a single wide right with Brookshire and Bell. The handoff to Greg Bell, and that's no gain up middle. So there are two bells at running back, unrelated. Greg Bell, Chance Bell, no Chance Bell tonight. Didn't warm up, not part of the game plan. So Greg Bell's been the guy, the lead back, averaging 5.9 yards a carry coming in two today and 4.6 yards per carry on this night. 5.50 in the clock rolling here in the first half. 14-14, BYU and San Diego State. Second down and 10 Aztecs, their own 46-yard line. Aztecs left to right as we see it and you hear it here in the second quarter. Jordan Brookshire claps the hands, turns and hands off to Kagan Williams who gets nothing running left. So, they had a third and 11 moments ago. Now it's a third down and 10 for SDSU with 5.32 to go until halftime. Yeah, the BYU defense, we said they needed to answer the call, and they have done so on this drive. Uh, Anytime they've had success all game long, anytime San Diego State's tried to go lateral, 
and uh, two plays in a row, they've been really stout as San Diego State's tried to hit them right up the middle. BYU football brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen have been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Third and 10, San Diego State at the Aztecs 46 yard line. Brookshire throws complete. No, it's incomplete. It was a bobble, and that was the reason it's not completed. Elijah Cody with a couple of great grabs in this one couldn't secure it cleanly. And so on the double clutch, he takes a hit in the back, and it becomes a pass breakup, and the ball drops to the turf. But if he handles that cleanly, that's a first down. Most definitely is. And it was the same one. The third and 11 previously when they converted, it was just it's just a simple 12-yard curl route. BYU's got to be able to close that window down. It's so interesting that Cody can make a horizontal diving catch in the end zone for a touchdown and a tightrope catch along the sideline for a first down. But when he's sitting wide open in a curl window for 12 yards, he bobbles it. That should have been a chain mover for San Diego State. First punt of the night for Tanner Kuljan. It's collected by Hobbs Nyberg at the 11 yard line. Maybe a gain of a yard or two on the return is all. So BYU facing a long field after this. BYU first and 10. It's on its own 15 yard line in a 14 14 game. We have 444 to play in quarter number two on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Ben Rose. Let's head back to the Mo Betters broadcast booth and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Back to school, back to football, back to Tucano's Brazilian Grill. Whether it's the flame-grilled meats, seafood, or the award-winning unlimited salad festival, dinner at Tucano's is an experience you can't get anywhere else. Welcome back to Lavelle Edwards Stadium here in Provo. BYU facing a first and 10 from the Cougars' own 12-yard line, 444 to go until halftime in a game that's tied at 14, San Diego State and BYU. The Cougars scored on their first possession of the game, going up 7-0. Back-to-back touchdowns by San Diego State, including a BYU turnover turned into a touchdown. Then the Cougars answered after a uh, Drew Jensen interception scoring an in touchdown on the ensuing series to square the game at 14. So, Zach Wilson and the Cougs, first and 10 as we come back in. Greg and Riley with Mitchell with you for an 11th time this season. And we trust there will be a 12th game for us to call. But to when and where and against whom remain the questions to be answered in the days to come. And think about it, the first bowl games in a week, literally the yeah. first bowl games next Saturday. There will be regular season games and a bowl game played on the same day Greg, next I Saturday. Have, I have memories. Aren't they playing bowl games? Maybe not this point, but in the teens. I think I played in a New Mexico bowl that was on December 16th or something. Yeah, but by time. the 18th, a week before Christmas, bowl games are usually going every year. Yeah. All right, Zach Wilson shotgun. Pulls it away from Katoa and throws on the slant to Neil Pau for an 11-yard gain and a first down right between the hashes. So Neil Pau sliding to the ground as Zach Wilson gets near 100 yards. See, I think he's at 99 now. On that completion, BYU goes in four minutes. They're hurrying up with four and a half to go until the break. Back at the line. Wilson in the gun. Hand off to Lopini. And Katoa is wrapped up and dropped after a gain of perhaps eh, maybe a yard to the 24-yard line as well. Give him one. So second down and nine is Caden McDonald and Michael Shawcroft. Combined on the stop for San Diego State. Really good defensive team, San Diego State. I say really good. Well, they're first in yards per play allowed. Third in yards per game allowed. Fourth in third down conversion allowed. Fifth in pass yards per game. Sixth in TFLs. Seventh in yards per carry. And on we go. They vacate to empty. And the throw is to the swing vacator. Katoa makes the catch in the far flat and has the first down. On second and nine, he caught the ball and moved ahead down the far boundary for a gain of 11 to the 35-yard line. First and 10, BYU and the Cougs are in hurry up. They'll place the ball at the 30... Yeah, right at the 35. Cougs back up a little bit as the ball is spotted. Clearance now given. With 3.40 to go until halftime, BYU first and 10 at the Cougs' 35-yard line. Zach shotgun with Katoa. Zach will take three-step. Pressure comes, and Wilson keep. Oh, does go down eventually at the 25-yard line. Loss of 10 on the sack. Given a nine-yard loss officially to the 26. I thought Zach was going to get rid of the ball at the very end. He ended up eating it and drops nine yards on the play. And I think wisely so because it would have had intentional. He was still in the pocket. It was a twist where the defensive end came right up the middle. He initially hit Zach, but the initial hit didn't take him down. I think Zach, that's why he got knocked backwards so far, but he was able to keep a hold of his ankle. And Zach was looking for anywhere to release the ball. There was nowhere open, and if he would have just dirted it, it would have been intentional grounding. Cameron Thomas with the sack. Zach throws on a second down and 19. Back to the original line of scrimmage to Dax Milne at the 35-yard line. So a third down and 10, gain of 9. Sione Finau, by the way, is in at tailback. So they've gone with Katoa, and now Finau. No Tyler Algier. 
Tyler coming into tonight just a handful of yards away from 1,000. He needed 43 yards for 1,000 on the year. Not available to the Cougs tonight. So Gunnar Romney and Tyler Algier, two huge parts of this offense, not playing for BYU on this night. Zach Wilson, shotgun, Finau to his right hip. Third down and 10 at the Cougars' 35-yard line. Can the Cougars dig out of a second and 19 hole to move the sticks? Just two down linemen, and now they'll bring three. Will the Aztecs, as the throw goes far side incomplete. Double coverage. Uh, was that Rex at the far side? It was. The intended receiver incomplete, and BYU will punt it away on fourth down and 10 from the Cougar 35-yard line. So the sack takes the Cougars off schedule. They don't recover all the way and punt away. And San Diego State, not the not, not the consummate two-minute team, the Aztecs, but we'll see what they can do here with two minutes to go before halftime in a tie game. Quickly on that third down play, you mentioned double coverage, Greg. You, uh, but prior to the snap, you mentioned only two down defensive linemen. They did what you could call a muddle-huddle defense where they had a bunch, about six defenders running all around. One of them ended up buzzing to the flat. You had Rex on a one-on-one on a much smaller corner, so it was a good decision by Zach. You just never knew where that flat defender was going to end up. The Ryan Rico punt is caught backpedaling by Jesse Matthews who made the catch in front of his face mask. He was a little off balance when he made that grab on a punt that sent him back farther than he was expecting. Timeout on the field, so we'll take it too. Let's call it our two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock here in the first half. BYU 14, San Diego State 14 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to Riley Nelson and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Two minutes to go until halftime. BYU 14, San Diego State 14 is our score. San Diego State football as we come back in. It'll be Aztec football at their own 15-yard line. So let's see what the Aztecs' mindset is here with two minutes exactly on the first half clock and BYU with all of its timeouts remaining. Riley? I think their mindset is going to be uh, if we can kind of crease a run for something, you know, 15, 20 yards, get ourselves past the 30, then I think they'll go for it. If they don't get that in these first two downs, I think they will, uh, you know, try and milk as much clock as they can, try and punt away and get into the locker room. And see if uh, the Aztecs will indeed force BYU to use those timeouts remaining. If the Cougars feel they have a chance to get the ball back, the first player two here will kind of set the uh, wheels in motion for these final snaps of the ball. Pistol with Greg Bell trailing Jordan Brookshire. The handoff to Bell. And Bell fashions a run of one when it looked like a loss of two or three. Clock running to 150. Now someone's called timeout. Yeah, BYU calls timeout. Yep. Great penetration on that previous play by Gabe Summers. He really took the ball carrier off his track and allowed the defense to rally around him, setting him up for a, a second one. So the Cougs felt that that was a good enough outcome on that first down play to call the timeout immediately. Two timeouts remaining for BYU. So nine seconds off the clock. Second down and nine. The Cougs looking at getting the ball back here before halftime and putting more points on the board in a tie game. 151 on the clock and time is out on BYU calling its first of three here in half number one. We all agree that nobody likes spiders, ants, mice, or frankly any other pests. Well, Edge gets rid of all that. They create a clean, safe, and pest-free environment for you and your family. San Diego State defeating BYU last year in San Diego 13-3. So a total of 16 points total in the game. That's already seen 28 in the first half here tonight in the rematch. San Diego State second down nine. Greg Bell is to the right of Jordan Brookshire. The Aztecs, like most teams we see, including BYU, doing most of their work out of the shotgun. Brookshire is in the gun. Handoff Bell. Feeling his way left. Gain of one. Timeout, BYU. So, third down and eight. The Cougs have stopped the clock twice. And will call their final timeout if they can keep the sticks from moving here on third down. Yeah, this is really important. San Diego State won the toss, deferred to the second half. So they get the ball at second half. If BYU can get this score, it creates a buffer against uh, San Diego State. If they do, if they are able to score in the first drive of the second half, uh, and BYU is able to capitalize on a two-minute drill. It, they only tie the game as opposed to taking the lead early in the second half. Well, and quick, uh, quick uh, weather comment here. You know, typically at this time of the game, too, the offense, um, you know, hoping and eager for the uh, for the Cougars to get the ball back. They're on the sideline. They're hyped. They're getting the defense pumped to make a big stop. But every single one of them, uh, they just got up off the bench. But everyone is is huddled around these heated benches in, in this cold <laughs> weather, and it, and it's cold. Um, they've got to stay warm because when they do get that. 
uh, if they have the chance to get the ball back and, and make that two-minute drive, they've got to be warm, got to be loose uh, to make that big drive. That's Mitchell Jurgens in our Zions Bank end zone for banking that helps you game plan for life. Zions Bank is for you. I wonder if uh, during halftime, Mitchell might just spend the entire break sitting on the heated bench down there. That's the plan, Greg. Okay. <laughs> I thought that might be the right thing to do. <laughs> Once the players leave you some space at halftime. All right, Jordan Brookshire's in the gun on a third down and eight for San Diego State. Takes a two-step drop. Pressure comes, and he throws complete, but not for a first down to the 23-yard line. Jesse Matthews makes the catch. BYU calls timeout and meet. Nope, they haven't called it. Now they do. So a few, a few seconds elapsed there, but on a fourth and two, San Diego State will more than likely be punting it away as the Cougars call their third and final timeout of half number one. So 93 seconds on the clock in a 14-14 game. And the Cougs are about to go into two-minute mode, it would appear, with San Diego State looking at a fourth and two from the Aztecs' own 23-yard line. The Aztecs faked on fourth down in field goal position for a run that set them up for a score. This will be a fourth and two from their own 23. So... Punt team in. Tanner Kuljan to boot it away. Hobbs Nyberg. Cougar defenders stay on the field. So the Cougs play a traditional defense personnel-wise with Hobbs Nyberg back to return the punt. Tanner Kuljan awaits the long snap. Boots it away. Short wobbler away from Nyberg. And the bounce will take the ball down to the 32-yard line of BYU. So, Cougs facing a 68-yard field with 119 to play, 118. Another second ticks off. So, first and 10, BYU inside the Cougs' own 35-yard line. They'll be in two-minute mode, looking to score before the break. Yeah, just like going back to that third down play, want to credit Micah Harper. That was tremendous on a crossing route with the receiver running away from him to be close enough, even though he made the catch to bring him down immediately short of the sticks. I think 118... Uh, even though they don't have any more timeouts for this BYU offense to only cover 69, 68 yards uh, is something they've done before and something I think they're planning on doing again. And only about 35 or more to put Oldroyd in field goal territory. Flag flies as the play gets off and thrown complete to Cosper on the right side for a gain of six, but a flag on the play. Can't have procedure penalties. Hopefully that's on the defense. Offside, maybe in the neutral zone of the snap. Yeah. Illegal no. formation. Damn. Offense, five in the backfield. Five-yard penalty, first down. What, what did he do? You could hear Zach Wilson asking for clarification in the referee's microphone there, but the go it goes as an illegal formation, five-yard penalty. First and 15 BYU now at the Cougs' 27-yard line with 1.13 to play until halftime. 14-14 our score, BYU and San Diego State. The all-black Cougs, the white and black with red Aztecs. Wilson calling for the snap, back pedals to his 17-yard line. The right-hander throws to Neil Pau, complete across the middle, but on first and 15, a gain of maybe just two. Second and 13 to Neil, and the clock rolling under a minute. And so the Cougs have to really get going here. That first down penalty just backed them up, and now they're trying to get back to the original line. Snap Wilson at his knees. The deep drop. Laser on the knees is Neil Pau who makes the catch for a first down. On second and 13, gain of 15 out to the 44 of BYU. 41 seconds, clock will stop to move the chains. Chains are moved and clock is rolling. Zach in the gun, takes the snap at his knees. A boot to his left. Rears back, throws for Mill, makes the catch at the 37-38 yard line of San Diego State. Now BYU's nearing scoring territory. Clock will stop to move the sticks again at 30 seconds. Ball's placed. Wilson gun, clock rolling, and flag. Ball slipped out of his hands. Ball slipped out of Empty's hands on the snap. Empty's hands on the snap, darn it. So clock will stop on 27 seconds with the penalty. Boy, they really had San Diego State defense. I, I mean, as much as you wanted to be in a hurry with the clock kick, taken down, they were putting a ton of pressure on that San Diego State defense with those three completions in a row. The last minute of last week, Coastal Carolina showed how good BYU can be with not a ton of time to work with. And still no explanation for the flag. Here comes Tim Davis with the call. Are they going to pick it up? Oh, no, they're moving it back. Illegal snap. Offense, number 66. That penalty carries a 10-second runoff. Mm. Clock operator. Reset the clock to 19. I'm sorry, 
17 seconds. 17 seconds. So now the Cougars, no timeouts and 10 fewer seconds on the clock. 17 seconds to go till halftime. BYU first and 15 at the 42 of San Diego State. A little too long for Jake at this point. Clock starts. Well, you'd think. Might not be, but they're well away. Wilson throws on the out. Left side. Complete to Dax Milne. Back to the 33-yard line. So it'll be second down and six with nine seconds to play until halftime. We'll see how the Cougars handle the final nine seconds. No timeouts remaining for BYU. Have to get out of bounds on anything to the sideline. It'd be a 50-yarder from right now from right if they here. didn't yep. gain another yard. Jake has four 50-plus yarders in his career. Chest high snap to Wilson. Pressure comes. He lobs it up for Mill. Mill turns around. The ball drops out of bounds with four on the clock. So they threw down the near sideline deep for Mill. No connection there. And they'll bring in the field goal unit for a 50-yarder. So... Jake Oldroy looking to score from 50 or longer for the fifth time in his BYU career. It'll be the left hash from 50 for the lead at halftime. Ryan Rico will hold. And Jake Oldroy will put boot to ball. On the snap from Britton Hogan to Rico. Oldroyd awaits. There's the snap placed by Ryan. Oldroyd sends it towards the uprights. And it is... Through for three. And for the fifth time as a BYU Cougar, Jake is good from 50-plus. And the Cougars take the lead on the final play of the second quarter. BYU 17 and San Diego State 14 is our halftime score. Nice work to get into scoring position despite a couple of five-yard penalties on that possession, Riley. I mean, they executed the end. That <laughs> We took the timeout and you said, we'll call it our two-minute warning. BYU could not have executed their two-minute really game plan on the offense and defensive side any better. Getting the stops that you need to, using all your timeouts, and then offensively, even with a couple hiccups in there with the illegal formation and the uh, and the fumbled snap, uh, they were able to still get in a position to score. And then credit to the special team, Jake Oldroyd, uh, perfect on the season from 50-plus, knocks in a 50-yarder from the left, left hash. Great way to go into halftime knowing that now San Diego State's going to come back out with the ball, pick up right where you left off, and stop them. So Kalani Sitake will be uh, jumping off the field and into a conversation with uh, Mitchell Jurgens. Let's head down to Mitchell right now with Kalani. What's up, Mitch? Coach, uh, up, up three points. Incredible kick there by Jake. Um, talk about uh, what's your overall assessment of the first half? Well, I got to stop the run on defense. That's the key. We knew that going into this game. I felt like the last couple of drives have been pretty good for us. Um, you know, and then, and then I think they're doing a good job of possessing the ball. We got to get out of drives. Had some third downs that they, they converted. Um, just got to keep trusting the guys and keep making plays. It's good. It's good momentum to end the way we did this, the first half. Just got to keep that going and and build on it in the second half. Yeah. Other than stopping the run, where do you want to see the most improvement from your team in the? Second well, let's half? get some more turnovers on defense, offense. Don't turn the ball over. Protect the football, and then special teams got to be the, the the difference maker for us right now. So right now it's got us a three point lead, and then looking to build on that and play a sound football. Assignment sound football is going to be the key for us in all three phases. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, Mitch. All right. That is Mitchell Jurgens with BYU head coach Kalani Sitake. Halftime recap is coming up after we tell you Jake Oldroyd is now 12 for 12 this year, has not missed a kick, scores from 50 to give the Cougars a three-point lead at the break. More Cougar football coming your way next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.